Russia's elite Marines have suffered four times higher losses during a year of fighting near Volodar in Donetsk Oblast than during 10 years of the Second Chechen War, the BBC News Russia reported. Kiev's forces announced the withdrawal from the key Donetsk Oblast settlement on October the 2nd after Russian forces swarmed the town's flanks and entered Volodar itself. Lying in the southern part of the region, roughly 40 kilometers east of the administrative border with Zaporizhia Oblast, Volodar has faced a heavy Russian onslaught since 2022. The elite 155th and 40th Marine Brigades of the Russian Armed Forces, also known as the Black Berets, were involved in the storming of the city supported by armored vehicles. The Marines were also assisted by motorized rifle units manned by mobilized and volunteer personnel. According to the BBC, at least 211 Marines from the 155th Brigade were killed during the Battle for Volodar, with another 42 missing. This far exceeds the unit's losses during the decade-long Second Chechen War in 1999 to 2009, the media outlets report showed. BBC journalists were also able to confirm the deaths of 72 Russian soldiers from the 40th Brigade. According to the BBC, the seriousness of the losses is confirmed by the fact that both brigades began using Storm Z units made up of convicts. Ukraine's 72nd Mechanized Brigade had defended Volodar, the key to Ukrainian defenses in the southern part of Donetsk Oblast, for nearly two years without rotations. After withdrawing from the town, the 72nd Brigade's troops moved to a new defense line to continue holding back Russian forces. Arseniy Prylepko, a spokesperson for the 72nd Separate Mechanized Brigade, told Romadsky. Two undisclosed soldiers from the same brigade told Suspiln that their unit continues to hold the defenses in the same direction near the occupied city. According to one of the service members, some battalions that suffered significant losses during the battle for Volodar will be based in Donetsk Oblast, 10 to 15 kilometers from the front line. During this time, they are going to be replenished. The rest of the units will hold the defense in this direction, the soldier said. Another soldier said the brigade remains in the same area because there is no one to replace it. During his address on September the 30th, President Volodymyr Zelensky said that Ukraine faces a very challenging situation on the front lines. Apart from Volodar, Russian forces have been focusing their efforts against the Donetsk Oblast towns of Pokrovsk and Toretsk, where outnumbered and outgunned Ukrainian soldiers are slowly losing ground under Russian pressure. Russian troops also appear to be preparing for assault operations in the southeastern Zaporizhia Oblast, where the enemy is amassing personnel, the Ukrainian military's Southern Command spokesperson Vladislav Voloshin said. Russia shot down its own S-70 Okotnik B heavy attack drone over Konstantinovka city in Ukraine's eastern Donetsk region, local media reported on Saturday. The drone was hit with the use of Russian Su-57 aircraft. There has been no official confirmation of Russia's downing of its drone. Earlier, it was reported that the drone was shot by Ukrainian armed forces. Hunter B is a stealth heavy unmanned combat aerial vehicle developed by Sukhoi and Russian Aircraft Corporation MiG as a sixth generation aircraft project. The cost of the drone ranges between $15 and $18 million, while its development cost is more than $170 million. Russia has only three units of the Okotnik-type drone, and three more are under construction. Being 14 meters in length, the drone's wingspan is 19 meters while takeoff weight is 25 tons. It flies at the maximum speed of 1,400 kilometers per hour.
Подивіться ось місце падіння російського літака у Костянтинівці. Ось крило величезне. І он, власне, ось так виглядає. Ось таке воно крило. Зірка. І ось рештки російського літака. Вони тут розкидані, валяються. Ось ще якісь частини. Ось де він упав.